going on guys hey uh sorry this uh video's a little bit late um really don't have a lot to say about the south Car carolina game garantano will actually look good and for all you guys that are messaging me saying well what do you have to say about garantano now same thing i've been saying the whole time he needs to start winning winning solves everything um, we look real good. We, we looked like we're improving from week to week. And I love the way that we're improving. Um, we are improving so much from week one to week two. We got a little bit better. We still should have beat Georgia State and BYU. I think, uh, what happened in those two games, Georgia State, we were looking ahead to BYU and Georgia State was looking at us. And then when we went into the BYU game, we were looking back at Georgia State and we let them come back to beat us. Um, Garantano looked good. Um, Shroud looked good. I like seeing Jennings in the Wildcat, but there was a couple times, one in particular, when uh, Eric Gray, uh, he, he was doing a read option. And he really should have handed that ball off to Eric Gray. The whole outside was wide open. And I don't think that, I don't think that there's a cornerback or safety one-on-one -on -one that's going to bring Eric Gray down. He's too quick. He's too agile. But I really don't have a whole lot to say about it. I mean, good, complete guess. Probably the best game that we've played all year long. The officiating was fucking shit. God, my, I don't, what, what the hell's going on with the SEC officials this year? They, they're a joke. Uh, Pruitt got a penalty. You know, I'm glad to see he did. And that's a penalty that I really love because he called them out on their bullshit. You know, um, yeah, the penalty hurt us. But it also fired that team up. And I guess you can see my clothes hanging on the makeshift closet in the hotel room. Um, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm going back to uh, my old company, Hunt Transportation. Um, doing a specialized and heavy haul, moving uh, heavy equipment. Um, anyway, uh, that's why this video is so late. Um, had a Halloween party at the house uh, on Saturday and then Sunday I got up about 4.30 in the morning and um, I hit the road about 5 o'clock and I drove straight up here from just north of Knoxville a little ways to uh, Omaha, Nebraska in one one day, so that's, that's quite a ways. I've done like 900 miles. I didn't feel like getting on here Sunday night when I got here. I literally threw my stuff in the corner um, and I went to bed. I was I was worn out. But, yeah, there's not a lot to say uh, really about um, Garantano's play. He looked good. Uh, JT Shroud looked good. Uh, Garantano is having to have surgery on his hand. He took a hard shot from a helmet and I'll try to let you know when I find out, uh, for any of you that are curious, uh, how he handles that. I think he'll be okay. I don't think it's, uh, too severe. Uh, as long as Garantano comes out and plays like that, I have no problem whatsoever. Um, he, he looked like a totally different quarterback. And he played with a lot of fire and a lot of passion. Uh, same thing with Shrout. Uh, Shrout surprised me when he had to come in and it, he was the guy. There was nobody else. Garantano's out with an injury. Uh, Shrout stepped up and I love to see that. Um, I think we get Mauer back this week and hopefully, you know, he can complete a whole game. Um, Anyway, uh, it things are looking up for the Vols. 
But that's one thing I will say. Things are looking up for for my vols, for our vols. Um, I have nothing to yell and rant about. I know that's what a lot of you guys want to look at on here. Uh, but I like the fact that I'm not screaming about my team. Anyway, go balls.